Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the release preview channel, but this time for Windows 11 23H2. And we're talking about the build 22631.4108, as I've said, version 23H2. Microsoft also released an update for Windows 11 24H2, but in this video, we're also covering the 23H2 version. So in this video, we're going to see what is new, what has changed, also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the release preview channel. If you enjoy videos like this, Please, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, we have some features that are gradually rolling out. For example, related to the Windows Share section, if you're trying to share a file, you can now share content to your Android device from the Windows Share window. To do this, you must pair your Android device to your Windows PC, use the link to Windows app on your Android device and phone link on your PC. We're gonna have this new section in nearby sharing. Also inside the File Explorer, when you press the Windows logo plus E, a screen reader might say a pane has focus or the focus might not be set at all. These are some issues that were fixed in this build. When you press Ctrl plus F, sometimes the search does not start. Keyboard focus sometimes might get lost when you press Shift plus Tab. Screen readers do not announce when you open or browse items that are in a breadcrumb of the open or save dialog. And also screen readers do not announce when you open or browse items in the column header. These things that I've mentioned should all be fixed in this latest build. Related to the narrator, this update makes scan mode respond quicker. This is especially helpful when you use Microsoft Edge and read large documents. To use scan mode, you must turn on narrator first, then turn on scan mode by pressing caps lock plus a spacebar during a narrator session. Related to voice access, you can now dictate the characters that you spell at a faster speed. We also have more editing options for the commands that select, delete, and move within text. We also have a normal rollout for certain things. For example, related to the input method editor, when a combo box has input focus, a memory leak might occur when you close that window. Also, external devices lose their connection when you deploy certain Bluetooth policies. This also should be fixed. Also in the File Explorer, the navigation pane does not update when you browse folders that are in a shell and namespace extension. And finally, a fix was applied for an issue that stopped your laptop from responding after you resume it from Hibernate. This occurs if you have closed and opened the lid many times. So this is basically everything that there is to it to the latest build for the release preview channel. As I've said, stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications because the next few days I'm going to release an in-depth video about the new features from Windows 11 24H2. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Jumani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.